This is how much should I spend? Where we test a method using different products at various price points to let you know which is the best value for your money. So today we're going to test out three ways to fix broken makeup. Which I am really excited for because I break my makeup products constantly. Me too. I have broken highlighters, foundation bottles, and just everything in between. Yeah. I think that no matter what the price point of your powder makeup, it's still really sad when you have a product that you like mm -hmm. and now it kind of just feels like unusable. Yeah. Like it's broken and you're like, ugh, what am I going to do now? So the methods that we're going to be testing out today are rubbing alcohol with a fork, the Moon Moose Magic Makeup Repair Kit, and the Fixie Creation and Repair Kit. So I have the two products that we are about to destroy right here in my hands. The True Match Lumi Glow Nude from L'Oreal and this Neon Eyeshadow Palette from Huda Beauty. So I think the main thing we're looking for is that not only do we want to fix our makeup products, but we also want to preserve the color, the texture, and everything that the makeup actually is before it was broken. We're going to start off with the cheapest and easiest option. It is the rubbing alcohol and a fork. All we have to do is break this down into little tiny pieces and put a few drops of the rubbing alcohol and then we use our fingers to kind of press it down and smooth them all back into place. Do you feel like it's, it's, it's good enough? Uh, it is, but it just looks messy. I just, this is such a beautiful palette. Mm, yeah. Do you guys want to see? It's a paint. It is paint. So, I guess the key is we shouldn't put too much rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Because you're just going to make a lipstick. Also, I think I just stained my hand. <laughs> Let's move on to Moon Moose. For this, I think let's just break up all of them first and then let the foam sit on them for a few minutes. This little like smoothing tool has been a lifesaver. This is the makeup with the Moon Moose and I've gotta say they look better than the rubbing alcohol product. I totally agree, even though this one does take probably a little bit longer too, just because the foam needs to settle into the product. I still think it was way easier to move everything into like the shadow pan and the highlighter pan than with the alcohol. Yeah, I think with the Moon Moose, they came with additional tools like a smoother and yeah. a brush. And I think that those actually really help. So our next product is our Fixie Kit. And I'm really excited to try that out. What you gotta do, you take your product and you take this picker tool that comes with the kit, break it down just like we have been this whole time and pour it into this piece of the Fixie, which is a grinder. Once you get all the powder product on, you're gonna use this little tool to massage it through the grinder. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see what the product looks like. It's gonna be really smooth and very milled. Pour it back into the pan. Then we're gonna spray it with the Fixie binding solution pat it down into place, let it dry overnight. This doesn't look nearly as much as what we grinded up. Lost a lot. We lost so much product. All we have left to do now is wait for the makeup products to dry until tomorrow morning when we will actually swash the products one more time. And then we're gonna pick a winner based on which product not only fixed our makeup the best, but which one held up with our product's quality. So, see you guys tomorrow morning. We're back. All of our makeup has finally dried. It's the next morning and we're gonna start off by swatching the alcohol ones first. Oh, that looks great. That looks amazing. That looks really good. That was one swatch. Wait, to be honest, I thought we were looking at the Fixie one. <gasps> no, this is the alcohol one. So this you is amazing. Me. Guys, this for rubbing alcohol That's is pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. This 
This one now is the Moon Moose that we're about to check out. I don't like how these highlighters are looking. So our final method that we tried out was the Fixie Kit. Let's swatch these and see how they turned out. <gasps> it broke already! <laughs> I barely touched it! <gasps> oh my god! Oh no! We also just lost another beautiful shadow. <laughs> We've tried all the methods, we've swatched each makeup product before and after the process, and I think we finally have a winner. And what is that winner, Meta? It's the rubbing alcohol. I can't believe we're saying the rubbing alcohol. It's so true though. Yeah. It wasn't bad at all. The only thing is, aesthetically, it didn't look as beautiful as the other two. When it came to the moon mousse, I thought it also worked well, I liked how the swatches looked before and after. There wasn't much of a difference, but we did get that weird flakiness with some of the products. And on top of that, the highlighters, which were already not pigmented, look worse now. Like they're non-existent on my skin. <laughs> Fixie just didn't bind. No. The Fixie didn't even do the one thing that we wanted it to do. Like step one was just to Fix, fix the makeup <laughs> to make sure that it bound together and was one solid piece again. It just crumbled back to that finely milled powder that we made with the grinder as soon as we pretty much touched them. So the next time you drop a product, just head to your local Walgreens, CVS, pick up a $2 rubbing alcohol, and I think you'll be all set. <laughs>